Hey everybody, it's Ryan and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to start something new and if you're a giant nerd like I am then this should be pretty exciting because today is going to be the first of many videos where I highlight my favorite art books in my collection. Everything from art technique to art history, I'm going to be showing it to you. So let's get to it. I actually have two books that I want to share with you guys and uh, they are actually very similar uh, in terms of their content uh, and, and the reason I wanted to share these two books is to make a point about art history as it pertains to us as artists. Um, one of the things I always try to encourage other artists to do is uh, to just be familiar with art history because like I've said before and what I said in my Nelson Atkins tour video actually is that it's truly amazing what you can learn by simply looking at a work of art and getting insight into uh, the techniques of these artists and that's what both of these books do. I'm going to talk about the Velasquez book first. It's called The Technique of Genius uh, and it's by Jonathan Brown and Carmen Garrido. Now Jonathan Brown is the expert on Velasquez when it comes to uh, his life and career and just the biographical details of Velasquez's life. Uh, but Carmen Garrido's contribution to this book is what really fascinates me uh, because he talks all about the technique of Velasquez. Uh, everything from the types of canvas that he used, the way he prepared his canvases, and the way he arranged his palette, the pigments that he used. There's actually a whole list here of the different pigments that Velasquez used in his paintings, which by the way are still available today. You can still find these. Uh, you kind of have to look for them, but you can still find them if you want to use them in your own paintings. And there's so much about uh, the technique of Velasquez that is revealed in this book that uh, just makes it a gold mine for me. And one of the things I love uh, are, are even the scientific uh, details of Velasquez's technique. You can, uh, you can see they, they have several images uh, of these x-ray um, images of his paintings uh, that kind of give you insights into uh, the process that Velasquez went through in each of his paintings and the way that Velasquez changed his mind uh, frequently in terms of the different poses of the figures to the composition as a whole uh, because not every x-ray image that you see looks exactly like the final painting. Uh, this really shows you literally what's beneath the surface. And, uh, and then you have these little cross-section images as well that show you the different layers of the pigments that Velasquez used in his paintings. But one of the things that I love most of all about this book are these super up-close detail images of his paintings. I want to show you one of my favorites and it's uh, this detail image here uh, from a portrait of Count Duke of Olivares. And uh, this is a detail image of this little sash here and it really just blows my mind uh, every time I look at this image and, uh, and, I, and I look and I see the, just the dazzling technique that Velasquez had in, uh, in his paint application. And you start to realize how simple this technique was. Um, and I say simple, but uh, it's um, also very complicated at the same time. Uh, because you know one of the things that you learn from this book um, is how spontaneous uh, everything looks uh, how improvised things can be but that Velasquez had intention in everything that he did everything every brush stroke had intention and uh, and that's what you learn uh, the more that you look at these paintings and the more that you study the details of them and just going back again, speaking of inspiration, I often go back to this book. Uh, I've read it cover to cover. I'm planning on reading it again uh, because 
you know, I go back to this book and I think to myself, gosh, you know, if only I had the type of, you know, if, I, if only I could be as loose and confident in my own painting technique as Velasquez was. Uh, and that's, that's what I see every time I look at these detail images, the confidence that Velasquez had in his technique. And uh, so this is a book that I really, truly, highly recommend uh, for any artist that is uh, interested in, uh, in the techniques of uh, the old masters. Uh, this is one of the best books I've, I've read uh, on that subject. And uh, this book is um, pretty much the exact same thing. This is the book that I bought uh, from the Nelson Atkins Museum a couple weeks ago, actually. I mentioned it in the video. Uh, so I haven't had an opportunity to really get into this book and start reading it, uh, but it's pretty much the same sort of thing, uh, except it's about Rembrandt's works, which is wonderful because I've been looking for a book uh, on Rembrandt that is uh, pretty much the same, um, that uh, that gets into uh, the, the the scientific part of Rembrandt's technique and kind of gives you insights into, uh, again, the, the, the infrared pictures of his book, the x-ray images, uh, the cross sections of the pigment layers of his paintings, which, I mean, who wouldn't want to look at that <laughs> and gain some insight from that. And again, just uh, the thing I love about Rembrandt is, in, in terms of paint application, he's pretty much the opposite of Velasquez. Velasquez had a very thin application technique. And then you look at uh, Rembrandt's just just chunky paintings that he had. Uh, and again, the up-close detail images of his paintings. Who doesn't love looking at images like this? Uh, and again, this shows you so much, and you can learn so much about the technique of Rembrandt. Uh, just by looking at this detail image and it's I mean granted it's much better if you're able to see the work itself up close and uh, we're very fortunate in Kansas City to have a Rembrandt painting that uh, that I can go and look at anytime I want but again just being able to look at these images and um, and to to gain insight into the technique of Rembrandt is uh, again just a gold mine and I'm looking forward to getting into this book I haven't had the opportunity yet and by the way this is a publication of the National Gallery of London but uh, anyway uh, again these two books really I think illustrate the importance of knowing art history uh, and by that I mean knowing the masters who came before us and learning from them because uh, they have so much to, to offer uh, in terms of you know the, our own technique and developing our own style of painting, um, you know, and, and for 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 Velasquez and for Rembrandt to have books uh, <laughs> uh, that uh, that that show these details and that show these insights uh, again is just a, um, a a perfect opportunity. Uh, to to improve in our own style in our own technique so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, hope you guys check these books out if you can um, stay tuned for more I have a whole lot more books that I want to share with you guys so uh, I'll see you next time